Smith & Wesson's small framed revolvers are by far their most popular. They've been going strong for nearly 70 years, starting with the introduction of the Chief Special back in 1950. This traditional 5-shot 38 Special revolver with an exposed hammer was immensely popular and spawned several variants including the aluminum framed Model 37. It retained the traditional lines of the Model 36 but was lighter in weight. Today, the Model 37 is no longer in production, but its stainless steel son, the Model 637, is still alive and kicking. The Model 637 has an aluminum frame, but the cylinder, crane and barrel are all made out of stainless steel. The 637 also bears some of the new Smith & Wesson features like the key lock above the cylinder release and the lack of a hammer mounted firing pin. The gun, fully loaded, weighs 15.5 ounces and sports a 1 and 7 eighths of an inch barrel. The 637 has rubber grips instead of the original walnut grips that came on the M37. Although less sexy, the rubber helps dampen recoil as the 637 is rated for plus P ammunition. The Model 637 can be had for under $400. Despite what some might say are shortcuts in manufacturing, when I bought my 637, I knew it was money well spent. The small frame Smith & Wesson revolvers are considered to have one purpose and one purpose only. Concealed carry. Their lightweight and their curved appearance naturally blends with the curves of the body, yet they pack a real punch and are absolutely reliable. That's why they still endear themselves to so many people even though small automatics have come a long way since 1950. The debate as to carrying a revolver with an exposed hammer is for another day. All I can say is that the 637 is a solid entry in the small revolver market and it is a favorite of mine. To read the full review about the M637 where I go into much more detail about the gun, ammo, accuracy and a few of its quirks, please read the full review on guns.com. There's a link directly below this video if you're not already on the page. And don't forget to subscribe to the guns.com YouTube channel to enjoy many more fun and informative videos such as this.